Good day. My name is Frick van der Kerk, Professor of Energy in the Faculty of Engineering at the Northwest University in South Africa. Good day. My name is Nico Forster. I am Professor of Systematic Theology at the Theological Faculty of the Northwest University in South Africa. We would like to inform you about the publication of our new book at AOSIS Publishers. The book's title is Science and Faith in Dialogue, and it concerns the relation between faith and science. Let us share with you the research aim and outline. Science and Faith in Dialogue presents a cogent, compelling case for concordance between science and theism and revisits two pillars of natural theology, namely the cosmological argument and the argument from design. Modern science provides undeniable evidence and a scientific basis for these classical arguments to infer a rationally justifiable endorsement of theism as being concordant with reason and science. Nature is seen as operating orderly on comprehensible, rational, consistent laws, in line with the conviction that God is creator. The premise that theism asserts a more causally adequate explanation of recent developments in modern natural science, i.e. modern naturalism, is based upon explanatory power and confirmation of hypothesis, the contemporary cosmological consensus, including the discovery that the universe had a beginning, and the abundant scientific evidence for fine-tuning, which are all best explained by theism. The themes in the book discuss theological and philosophical implications of local and global fine-tuning, and biological fine-tuning, which in turn is linked to the argument from irreducible complexity and the argument from biological information. Naturalistic explanations for the existence of a universe and sentient life are contested by showing that philosophical arguments against the cosmological argument and the argument from design are weak and that naturalistic theories purported to provide explanations lack explanatory power. Alternative theories to avoid or explain the beginning of a universe are shown to overreach and lack credibility. Functions for life demonstrate clear evidence of foresight, coordination and goal direction, which are all unmistakable signatures of intelligent design. Explanations based on prebiotic abiogenesis are futile. Origin of life research points to a creator. Macroevolution, albeit not incompatible with theism, fails to provide a consistent theoretical framework to, to explain viable mechanisms for abiogenesis, the genetic code, and abrupt appearance of species in the fossil record. In conclusion, six myths which have ostensibly contributed to the conflict between science and religion, seemingly ingrained in present-day scholarship, are debunked. The target audience of the book includes theological scholars, natural scientists, and science philosophers. We would like to invite you to read this book. We trust you will find it to be constructive, informative, cogent, and inspiring. Thank you. Thank you.